Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to install an image on a micro SD card so you can boot up and use your Pine64 units. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Right now I am on the uh, Pine64 website, so www.pine64.com forward slash downloads. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link in the description for that. Now if we go down, we can see they have various images uh, for you guys to use. You know, they make some suggestions, uh, suitable for, tells you, you know, how much memory should have, file size. Uh, so, you know, we got Ubuntu, Android, we got Debian. Now, I'm going to be trying Remix OS because uh, from what I've read and what I've seen, uh, it seems to be running the fastest uh, as far as like rendering video, you know, the sound works, et cetera, et cetera. So, you're going to need a few programs here. Uh, one is some sort of zip utility because a lot of the uh, files are uh, zipped uh, to be compressed to be smaller so you're gonna need either winrar 7-zip or winzip and you're gonna need another utility called win32 disk imager so if I go to my PC I believe it's in here so you can see Remix version 2.0. Now I've already uh, extracted it. I just went extract to Remix version 2.0. And then that went ahead and that made this folder. And here you can see it uh, is the file you need. .img because it's an image. Tells you the size. So then I go here. And I am going to write an image 2K. Now the reason I'm writing it to drive letter K is because it is on my micro SD card. Now you can see there's already stuff on here. That's because I already wrote an image to it, which was the Arc Linux uh, image, which didn't really work that well for me. So I'm going to be trying out the uh, Remix OS one. So I'll go ahead and I'll select the file. It's going to open up and then I'll go whoop whoop go here go here scroll down here we go here we go then you're gonna choose write once you write it please know all the data on that card will be gone so if you have pictures or if you're taking this out of your camera phone or whatever make sure you back your stuff up because I don't want you guys blaming me that you know all your data is gone and you thought it was only gonna write it to a certain part of the SD card so anyways make sure you save your data guys go ahead select write it's gonna ask you hey man we're gonna overwrite everything on here Are you sure you want to do this select yes now it's gonna go do its thing not sure how long that's going to take. It's at 1%. Uh, one thing you might want to note is that upon me trying the first time when I tried to write the uh, Arch Linux uh, image on it, it said that it couldn't write it. Now, I don't know if it was an error with my computer or whatever, but I just ended up taking the SD card and formatting it in Windows before I formatted it using the Win32 disk imager so that seemed to work so I'll go ahead and I'll let this go and you guys can fast forward the video uh, to uh, until it's 100% Okay guys, so it finished copying, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little SD card here, if you can see it, it's an ADATA 64 gig, I'm going to put it inside, right there, where the memory card goes, and if it goes upside down, or... so it goes with the logo facing up, okay, when you push it in you'll hear a nice little click. I have my USB cord here that is connected to the power here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in now into my computer. 
Okay, I've plugged it in. And you see we got a light indicating that it is plugged in. Now I am waiting for it to post on my monitor here. So you can see here, Remix OS. This is the first time I'm seeing this. I'm pretty excited. Now it is uh, fading in and out, so it's probably booting whatever it needs to boot. Sure, do I have to press something here? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So, my fault. Uh, so, apparently, I, I guess it was on already. Uh, all I did was I left clicked my uh, mouse button. So, yeah, you can see it's uh, wow, it worked. Very nice background. It's got a uh, all the apps on here. Let's try uh, so I just launched Chrome. Okay. I'm interested in seeing Oh god, yes, I accept. I'm interested in seeing stuff render at 1080p. And play back. So I don't wanna Copyright strikes here. Let's go here. Just tip in. Whoops. Tip in my handle. All right. Let's go ahead and look at some Mortal Kombat gameplay. I gotta say, the video playback is extremely smooth. I mean, it, this really doesn't do it justice. And everything seems to open up very, very fast. You know, the sound works, the internet works. Uh, the unit that I got doesn't have Wi-Fi on it. So, I really can't test to see if the wireless works with this, but I mean, keep in mind guys, this is a beta, you know, and this was pulled straight from, you know, their website. This is probably for videos, if you have any on there. I'm sure they have a integrated YouTube app. I I don't understand why why it wouldn't be on here by default. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to go into too much too much detail. I just want to kind of walk you guys through. You know, it's fairly easy. It takes less than ten minutes. The longest process is actually getting the image 
uh, onto the SD card, uh, to the micro SD card. And that might even be faster for some just based on the, the type class speed for the card that you have, which most are 10 now, but you know, it's going to vary. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to answer. Thanks guys. Take care. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.